Hi everybody, happy Monday. It is May the 2nd, 2016. Um, a little bit about my self-current update. I am now going into week two of working at Good Old Brahms as a cook. What, what? Um, did my training last week and nailed it, aced it. So I'm now officially a cook closer. I don't know, cool. Um, so 2015 was definitely um, eye-opening for me. Um, definitely did a lot of changes in my life and um, learned a lot about myself and, and a lot about life and relationships with others and um, of all aspects, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, brother, sister, friendships, co-workers, having a relationship with your bosses and, and um, you know, going with relationships with parents and stuff and and there's a lot that I think I want to talk about and 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 share with you on my in thoughts uh, on uh, on my in or my insights I guess you would say and thoughts on things um, so I, I think rant periodically I might post a video of something that I think of that I think you know this is kind of a cool life lesson that I learned that I want to share with you um, this goes back to the days of being a youth pastor and speaking in front of my kids and, you know, telling them stuff about, oh, well, you know, this is what I did when I was your age. And, you know, this is probably not the best thing that you should do because uh, it didn't really work out well for me. But, um, no, uh, one of the things that I wanted to kind of share with you today is I'm having trouble deciding if I want to go back to school and if I do, you know, what do I want to pursue? Do I want to pursue another bachelor's degree? Or do I want to try and pursue something in the theater education aspect and get, like, my master's? There was one point in my life to where I wanted to um, get my PhD, you know. Uh, and so that's, like, well, do I still want to do that? Or is that just a waste of my time and money? Um, the other option is, you know, deciding, you know, to go ahead and, you know, pursue something career-wise without going back to college. And if that's the case, then what the, what is that, you know? Um, is it going ahead and, you know, finding another alternative to maybe get my teaching license? Or do I even want to become a teacher? Do I, would I much rather do something more like in the field or... You know, do I want to go into professional theater or professional television, you know? And if that's the case, you know, do I want to be more front of face to it? Or do I want to work behind the scenes? Or do I want to do both? Um, quite honestly, there's a lot about life that I feel like I want to experience that, you know, I haven't experienced yet. And I'm very grateful and happy that when I made the decision that I wanted to move to Dallas from Arkansas that I did because even though I was scared and terrified that, oh no, I'm not gonna make it, you know, what if I get there and I can't find a job or what if I get there and I just decide that I'm not happy and, you know, I have to move back and, you know, I wasted so many years of my life and it actually turned out that even though I went through a lot of bad situations here, <laughs> living here and making decisions that probably weren't the best, I ended up, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the decision of moving here because I made a lot of great friends and you know I like I said I learned a lot about myself especially this last year and and you know I, I'm more comfortable and confident with who I am and and who is Nathan Freeman and uh, you know so the next option option three is do I want to move again you know um, w would I want to move to a different city um, is that going to be on the East Coast, on the West Coast? Do I want to stay in the South, or would I rather go more North? I don't know. Um, those are like my thoughts right now on on what I'm thinking. Um, I'm definitely a person that likes change. I don't like things to stay the same over a long period of time. So I like moving around. I like driving. I like you know being on long road trips. They comfort me, you know and whether I'm with someone or whether I'm by myself driving, I don't mind it because I, th I think a lot and I can usually carry a pretty good conversation with myself for a pretty good long time. I mean, 
hell, I'm sitting here talking to a camera. Um, and I realize a lot of people do that, so that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm weird or crazy for, you know, wanting to share my thoughts, but I think this is probably like a video blogging thing that I'm going to be going through for a while. Um, just to be able to like, get my thoughts out because I hate writing. Actually, I love writing, but I don't like taking the time to write my thoughts down. I'd rather just talk about them. And I don't know, I think this is a fun way. Um, like I said, I think I'm handsome and I'm good looking and I like hearing myself talk. So I'm in love with myself. You should be in love with yourself. Um, because you have to spend the most time, <laughs> the person that you spend the most time with in life is going to be yourself. So you got to learn to fall in love with yourself and, and learn the things that irritate you about you, you know? Um, I get so irritated at the fact, sometimes when I get frustrated, I react this way that my mom would. And it annoys me because I get pissed off majorly the way that she freaks out on something. I'm like, dude, just handle it the way dad would, you know, be calm and cool about it. And, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm not calm or cool about it. And when I react in that hostile manner, I say something that kind of makes me look like, wow, you look like a doofus. But it's okay, because you know what? I act like a doofus on a daily basis to make people happy. So, um, anyways, uh, share your thoughts on this or any questions or comments that you have. Um, I don't know. I, I want to get people's input on this because, you know, it's a very, another interesting choice in, you know, in my life. You know, do I want to pursue going back to college and... Or do I want to pursue my career? Go ahead and do that. Which I have a bachelor's degree in speech and theater. Um, if I took that route, it'd most likely be something in the regards of education. Um, I'm not so sure if that's what I want to do. Or, which is the more, I guess you would say more what I'm leaning towards is, you know, maybe I should, you know, try and move to a different city and experience life more. I mean, I, th I think that's what I want. I definitely know that. In my life, I want to be more of the person that constantly uses each and every single day as a day to be able to say, hey, you know, I learned something new. I'm always constantly a student, um, and the teacher is and professor is life. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.